right, now that we have the panel turned on, let's talk about how to connect to our Chrome box. So your Chrome box is probably located on the back of the panel. I have mine sitting here so you can see what it looks like. The Chrome box is essentially a Chromebook, but no screen. The board is gonna be our screen. So uh, somewhere on the back of the board, this is mounted and connected. Now you'll see here that there's a power button. So right now it's white, so that tells me that it's on. If at any point your Chrome box is not responding, uh, just always check to make sure that this white power button is on. If not, you should be able to press that button to turn it on. I'm gonna set this off to the side for a second. Now our Chrome box is connected using two different cables. Again, this should already be connected for you, but I'm gonna show it to you anyway, just so you know how this works. So one of the cables that it's connected to is the HDMI cable. All right, this is for audio and video. So when it's connected to the board, that will display the Chrome box on the screen. The second cable is the USB cable. This is for touch. So anytime you touch the panel, it'll register on the Chrome box. Again, all this should be connected for you, but I want you to see it for yourself so you understand what's happening kind of behind the board, so to speak. Now, as you can already tell, you've seen this screen here. Uh, this is essentially what we call the ViewBoard OS. So your board really has two computers, uh, the built-in computer here and then the Chrome box. So the reason why I'm showing you the ViewBoard OS is uh, I don't want you to use it. Okay, this is a non-example. Really, we want to be using that Chrome box because it's the more powerful device, right? The more powerful tool. So the way that I switch from the ViewBoard OS to the Chrome box is I actually want to choose where it says HDMI one down here. That's where your Chrome box should be plugged in. Now, sometimes this gets renamed. It may say Chrome box instead of HDMI one. The point is, is that if I touch this, what it's going to do, it's going to switch from the ViewBoard OS. And you'll see here that now I am in my uh, Chrome box, right? You might recognize this screen as the Chrome OS login screen. Now, if I accidentally hit that home button, that's on the front of the panel, right? It's right next to the power button. That takes me back to the ViewBoard OS. So essentially I'm just switching inputs. So again, if you're at this screen, you're in the wrong place. We wanna turn on our Chrome box by touching HDMI one. Now, if your Chrome box has gone to sleep or it's turned off, you might not see HDMI one. What you wanna do in that case is find the settings cogwheel button on the front right side of the panel just a couple over from the house. And when you press that, you're gonna see a list of inputs on the board. Right now you can see we're on the ViewBoard OS. We wanna choose HDMI one. This one's a little bit different though because we touch it once and that's gonna give us a preview. If we touch it again, that's actually going to switch to my Chrome box. So it's almost like touch it once and then touch it again. So there's two ways to switch to our Chrome box if we're accidentally on the ViewBoard OS. The first way is to touch that HDMI one icon there. If you don't see HDMI one, go to your settings and then choose HDMI from the list. Remember that you have to touch it twice in order for it to switch inputs. So now that we have our uh, Chrome box turned on, uh, if this is the first time you've ever turned it on and no one has signed into it, it's going to ask you to type in your email. Just type in your school email. If it has a screen like this and you already have your account, you can just type in your password. Or if you don't see your account on the sign in window, locate where it says add person in the bottom left corner. That will let you type in your email and you can sign in. So let's go ahead and get signed in. But something you may notice is that uh, I don't have an on-screen keyboard. There's no way for me to type at the board. So if you have a physical keyboard, this can be helpful. Uh, that might've been purchased for you and you can just type it here. However, I'm gonna show you really quickly how to turn on the keyboard. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is locate the clock in the bottom right corner. When you touch the clock, it's gonna open up the Chrome settings menu. And you'll see here on the top right, there's an option called accessibility. If I touch that, I will be able to scroll down and choose this option where it says on-screen keyboard. When I select that, a keyboard button will appear 
down by the clock in the bottom right corner. And now when I touch here to sign in, it's going to open the keyboard for me to type. Now, unfortunately in Chrome OS, there's no way to make the, uh, the keyboard smaller on the sign in window. In our next video, I'll show you how to make the keyboard smaller. But for this part, you either have to physically use your connected keyboard or use the large on-screen keyboard to type in your password. So in review, you know how to switch input. So go ahead and switch to your Chrome box. Make sure the Chrome box is powered on, right? You should see that white light on the back and then go ahead and add your account and get signed in. I'll meet you there in a minute. And on the next video, we'll talk about how to use Chrome OS with the Viewboard.